Let's take the square root of 150. Now there's another way of doing this through prime factorization. So instead of factoring, we do prime factorization. So we take the radicand, which is this part underneath the radical sign, and we do the prime factorization. Prime numbers are things like 2, 3, 5, 7. Now prime numbers are divisible by themselves in 1. So 2 is a prime number because it's divisible by 2 and 1. 3 is a prime number because it's divisible by itself in uh, 3 and 1. 4 is not a prime number because you can divide it by 2. 6 is not a prime number because you can divide it by 2 and 3. 8 is not a prime number because you can do, divide it by 2 and 4, so on and so forth, right? So to figure out prime numbers, if you don't have to memorize, just try to divide it by something other than 1 or itself. So 8 is not going to work. What about 9? Well, 9 is divisible by 3, so that's not it. What about 10? 10 is not a prime number. It's a composite number because 10 is divisible by 2 and 5. 11, I can only divide 11 by 11 and 1. What about 12? Well, I can divide by 12 by 2, by 3 by 6, what about 13? 13 is good, and there's 17, there's an infinite number of them. So we start trying to divide it by the first prime number, which is 2. So 150 divided by 2 is 75. Next I try to divide 75 by 2, it doesn't work, so now I move on to 3. 75 divided by 3 is 25. I can't divide 25 by 3 again, so I move on to the next prime number, which is 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5, I can divide 5 by 5 again, I get a 1. When you get a 1, you know you're done. So that means the prime factorization is 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. Okay. So now I rewrite square root of 150 as square root of 2 times 3 times 5 times 5. Now what we're looking for, since there's a 2 index here, understood or implied, we're looking for a pair of numbers. So I have a pair of 5s there. I can pull that out, and that gives me a 5 there. And then whatever's left inside that doesn't have a pair, I leave that on the inside. 2 times 3. So the 5 stays on the outside. 2 times 3 is 6. So we end up with 5 square roots of 6.